I am happy to share that I've completed 365 days of Lico challenges <laughs> and also solved more than 500 plus DSE problems. <laughs> This has been a remarkable achievement to test my consistency. <laughs> This video is to share my journey and significant insight which might really help you out. So let me introduce myself. So myself Danushan and I've been coding for more than 7 years. I took a challenge to test my consistency to solve 365 days of Likud problem without skipping a single day. It has been an incredible journey and I'm happy to share the details with you. So those of you who might be wondering what is Lead Code? It's a platform that offers a vast collection of coding challenges for developers to improve their skills. The problem covers a wide range of topics and difficulty levels, making it an excellent resource for coding practice and also to improve your data structures and algorithms. We have technology. I come from a coding background and I enjoy coding. And the motivation behind this challenge was to push my limits and also to enhance my problem solving skills. Incorporating lead code into my daily routine was not so easy, but gradually it became a part of my day. By the end of this video, you'll know how I managed to stay consistent and also handle the challenges. Throughout the journey, there were some problems which was very hard to crack and I had to look into the solution to solve the problem. <laughs> Soon I'll be making a video to handle complex problems so make sure to subscribe to my channel. Few main tips and strategies which I followed which really helped me out. I got skills. Before starting the challenge I made sure I am familiar with few topics beforehand. For example, if any DSA problem is given to you, it might be handled either using stack arrays or dynamic programming graphs etc. I made sure before starting this challenge I'll be able to code at least a simple program in most of these concepts. Before I solve this 365 days of problem, I made sure I solved few problems before I started this challenge. Learning of fundamental concepts beforehand would be really helpful before you start this challenge. I had a motivating factor. A year before, I did a lot of open source contribution and problem solving, and a few years back also, I did 100 days of code challenge. And I thought like I need to do something which is very useful and also to test my consistency. Therefore, I took this 365 days of challenge. So just to do something big than my 100 days code and various other accomplishment, I took this 365 days of challenge. This was a motivating factor for me, and I also see many other people maintaining this streak on a regular basis. I also see many tech influencers advising to start your day with the lead code problem. Taking all these as factors, I was able to be consistent. On comparing my coding skills from day one to the skills I developed today, and I hope this at least helped me to improve my problem-solving abilities at least by one percentage. My time spent, completion speed, and accuracy has been gradually improved. Sometimes when I'm not able to solve a problem on my initial days, I had to look into the solution, and I'm really thankful to many other community members who explained their solution in such a way so that everyone could understand it. This reflection on my incredible journey has influenced both my programming skills and mindset. It's not only about problem solving; it is also about the valuable lessons learned throughout the journey. This diverse array of problem solving skills has honed my ability to approach problems strategically and also to provide efficient solutions. Programming problem solving is like a mental gym for programmers where each day brings a new workout a new energy to tackle the problem and conquer the daily practice has also improved my coding speed and accuracy there were some cases where my code failed whereas each opportunity helped me to learn and refine my approach i actually post my accomplishment across various social media and i got more than hundreds of dms and comments and my friends asking me how you did so let me answer them one by one why did you decide to take on the challenge of solving lead code problems every day for a year the reason for taking this challenge is to test my coding skills and also to stay consistent and do something consistently to accomplish something in a year what motivated you to stay consistent throughout the entire year interest passion no just kidding actually i had an interest to solve the problem but the main thing which actually motivated me was seeing several other developers across the world doing very great things when so many great developers are doing so much across the world why can't i do a small thing just to solve a problem so that was my main thing which made me to stay consistently throughout the year did you have any specific goals or objectives when starting the challenge i, I also do some open source contributions So before I fix a code and I try to merge, it, I had many occasions where some other person would fix this problem and merge the trick. So I just want to do few things faster. That was my main goal, and these objectives really helped me to achieve that. How did you manage to incorporate daily coding practice into your routine? So to follow a routine, the main thing is I like it very much. I like problem solving. Basically, I love to play chess, and uh, chess is full of problems. Just kidding. Uh, chess is a game where you need to uh, solve few puzzles and those type of things. I'm very much excited to do things. So just had the same approach towards problem solving and i made it as a routine were there days when you found it particularly challenging to complete a problem how did you overcome those challenges 
there were a few problems which was very difficult to solve we thought for a very long time and was not able to solve those those i had to look into the solution but those problems are still marked and kept in a separate place where i need to revisit it whereas it's not possible for everyone to solve every other problem even if you're more more skilled did you see noticeable improvements in your coding skills or problem solving abilities over the course of the challenge consider i look into a problem and solve an approach in day one and after a few days when i completing all these various other challenges and i come back to the same problem i used to solve it in a better way and a more optimistic way so this has gradually improved my problem solving skills and also how to code far more efficient what were some of the most difficult or interesting problems you encountered during the year the most difficult or interesting problems quite a lot uh, make sure to hit the like button also subscribe so that i'll try to post all those in my channel very soon did you use any specific strategies or resources to tackle the problems more efficiently special tutorials i could say geekix and also various online youtube tutorials which really helped me out. did you use any specific strategies or resources to tackle the problems more efficiently yeah i had very more commitments and uh, i had to go for various occasions functions and also trips i also had gone to more than seven to eight trips uh, in, in the year but I, i was able to manage all those like even if you skip for a few days there's an option in leapfrog called the time travel ticket where you can purchase it with some points available in your leapfrog coin so when i missed a few days i used to purchase that and i used to travel back in time solve that problem it's really helping a lot sometimes whenever i go for occasion it would be just for uh, a single day so that i would return back and i would be able to solve my problem uh, it, i was so lucky were there any moments where you considered giving up and if so what kept you going okay i didn't think of giving up because as i said before i want to do something consistently for 360 days a year sometimes i thought like uh, should we continue this it's enough we have did for like 100 days let's do, do it one more time let's do it one more time that was the only thing which was going on which actually helped me to do for more than 365 days did you track any metrics or statistics throughout the challenge such as completion time accuracy or the types of problems you focused on uh didn't track much but i can say like when i had to code a problem in the beginning of the year and if i go the same problem again i would be more faster and better that is my only improvement but i didn't do any measurements like that or metrics what impact do you think the challenge had on your overall programming skills and confidence yeah my skills and overall confidence gradually increased not only solving a simple problem but also complex problems were very easier and more convincible to solve did you participate in any coding communities or forums for support during the challenge i didn't have much time to participate in all those but sure I participated. Were there any surprises or unexpected benefits that you experienced during the challenge? Surprises or unexpected benefits? Uh, I could say I got a lot of followers and my reach has gone much more higher throughout the platform on various blogging communities or uh, social media. What advice do you have for others who might be considering a similar daily coding challenge? If you're someone who's trying to code or who's planning to do something consistently, I would say not to start for the entire year, but at least try for a month. Try to do for a month and try to gradually improve for two months, three months, and so on. Gradually improving things oh, uh, on a regular basis really help you. So in my case, once I did a consistent of 100 days of code, and after that I did for a year only 50 problems I solved, and then I moved on to an entire 365 days. So gradually improve, which would really uh, make you consistent and uh, Along. How did you deal with burnout or fatigue? especially on days when you might not have felt like coding yeah there are some days i would be like not coding today let us quit or be frustrated with the problem statement i had habit of uh, exercising at least on a regular basis at least thrice a week which uh, made me to go out of this burnout and fatigueness and i only like i look into problem and i am not able to solve i had to look into the solution so i don't stress much my much but i would strive until i can solve that problem did you collaborate with others or work on the challenges independently i used to collaborate with one or two not on a regular basis but occasionally when they also used to solve this leak code and all those so uh, those type of interactions really help you to stay consistent and also uh, collaborating with others will really help you in problem solving skills how did you choose which problems to solve each day no choice brother i had to do the daily leak code challenges given to me did you explore different programming languages during the challenge or did you stick to one yeah i explored two type of programming languages mainly one was javascript and another was python 3 so so what i do is i try to solve a problem in one language and it's really good i would try to solve it in another language If I encounter a problem which is part of uh, these programming languages which I've already solved, I would really take some other new programming language and try to solve with that. Just to test my ability with other type of syntax codes. Now that you've completed the challenge, what are your future coding goals or plans? Good question, but hard to reveal. But make sure to follow me on all socials and also subscribe to my channel so you'll be surely notified with whatever I do. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you until next time. Bye bye.